Hey folks, Mark and Bob from Fire Mountain Outdoors. Did you know there are three common ways to attach stuff to your rifles? What are they, Mark? We've got the Picatinny rail, and we have key mod, and then we have M-Lock. Stick around and we're gonna tell you the drawbacks and pros and cons of each one, and then I'm gonna predict the winner at the end. So we've got three different ways to attach accessories to our AR-15 tactical, tactical type rifles. That's right. We got the old-fashioned rail, the 1913 Picatinny, which has been the standard forever. And we have what's recently come out with the key mod, and then we also have the M-Lock. Right. Why don't you talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of the Picatinny? One great thing about the Picatinny is you've got these incremental adjustments and you can go forward with them, you can go backwards with them, I mean, you can go all the way out. Wherever you have this, you can secure using just one little slot if you have it. That's right, and you just have to move it about a half an inch. You can incrementally make a step. That's right. What's the downside? The downside is the edges of this are sharp. I mean, it's like a cheese grater, and it will take the skin off your hand. And it also gets hung up on seat belts. It gets hung up on webbing. It gets caught on clothing. The well, stuff wears is... wears out the inside of your rifle case. It does, and it's, it's, it's kind of a pain. And if you don't want that cheese grater, I mean, you have to invest in some panels. And then by the time you do that, so you so let's say you took your, uh, your, your M4, and then you wanted the... Uh, 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 options to add accessories. So then you add a quad rail. And then, now we're going to add this. Basically, All the way around. you added a whole bunch of weight and complication to your firearm. Um, and you've got something the size of a basketball <laughs> that you're holding out in front of you. Right. It's exaggerated, exactly. but yeah. So that brought on key mod and M-Lock. Yeah, and the thing with the, the key mod is, you know, it's slimmer. It's not as bulky as the Picatinny, mm -hmm. but you still do get a little bit of that cheese grater feeling to it. It is a little bit. It does have a little bit, but it's all recessed. There's nothing sticking out. There's nothing that's going to catch on anything. No. It's not going to catch on uh, your webbing or your seat belt or your clothes. Uh, it's it's not quite as comfortable on your hand as, say, would M-Lock be with just the machine smooth slots in there. Right. What do you think about attaching uh, accessories and the method? Well, uh, the method is going to be by these uh, key mod little rail sections that you can purchase, and and you can and you can buy rail sections to use your old rail accessories. Or a lot of different manufacturers are making things that forego the rail adapter, and you can just buy a key mod mount for something. So you don't have to buy a rail section and then a mount. Right. And so then you have your, your rail. So you're basically having, you know, no rail as opposed to then putting your rails back on it. I mean, I can put rails all over this thing and just deck it out however I want if I want that availability. Mm -hmm. um, but you only have to have a rail where you're going to have something mounted. You don't have to put up with the cheese grater on everything else where you're just going to put your hands. That's right. And usually I, I don't run any on this unless I'm just running like my AFG on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that's really about the only time I ever have anything on it. If I do put a flashlight on it, I've got the key mod right there ready to go. So let's talk a, a little bit about how they attach. So we have uh, the, the bolt, the Allen-headed bolt that goes through, and then the nut itself has a little eccentric that's machined into it. So the nut itself is round at the bottom, but then it has that eccentric in the middle, and then that cams and locks into the small part. So you just slip it into the big part, just like you're putting together a Gorilla Rack, and then you slide it forward, and it clicks in there solid, and then you tighten your Allen wrenches. The M-Lock works in a similar fashion, 
where it has little square like a T nut at the bottom. It has a has round surfaces and then a T that cams over almost like a unistrut nut for you other construction guys. It works kind of like a unistrut nut. And I've noticed that when you first get these, Bob, the nut sticks down too far and it's kind of a pain to put them on there because in order to engage it, you kind of have to pry up after you get your nut spun to 90 degrees. Otherwise, uh, it just sits there and spins and you don't make any progress. So they're kind of annoying to put on the first time. <clears throat> I, I thought when I first got M-Lock, that I was going to like it over the key mod in one particular fashion and in, in that I thought that it would have some more fore aft adjustability than with the key mod because the key mod is just locked into one spot and then you look at this and you look at all the all the slots in there and you think well I can I can move it infinitely but but you don't because most of your accessories will have a, what I call a little sleeper pad in there that also engages in there and so when you put it on there there's only a few fixed spots that you can do it so you don't, you have to move over a whole a whole rail section to actually make it work so um, that may or may not be a concern with you, but so the M lock goes on in much the same fashion. It goes down, the nut engages, and we tighten it, and then we've added a rail section. I find that you have to have a little bit more care, like you said in the beginning when you're setting it up. I did manage to ruin a piece of a uh, very nice piece of aluminum on one of my firearms because it wasn't coming in there correctly, and it actually spun out inside the uh, right the channel. instead of engaging at 90 degrees uh, i saw that it, it engaged 45 at 45 and then it just uh pulled those two tits up tight up against the aluminum and, and did end up marring it i think that there's going to be a, a clear winner i don't think that the the picatinny rail is ever going to go away especially for mounting optics um on the top rail i think that that is going to going to continue to be the standard but for mounting accessories on a handguard, I think we've got a beta versus VHS thing going on here. And I think that there's going to be a clear winner, and I think I know what it is. I think it's going to be the VHS. I, I personally uh, like a beta, but the beta, things were more expensive. Mm -hmm. Things may have been made and machined a little bit better, but, you know, it, it's the market. What, what can bear the market? And right now, companies like Magpul, Magpul, that's a big factor. Because Magpul has adopted the M-Lock and they make the M-Lock accessories and, and they don't support the key mod, uh, I think that that's a huge player. The other thing that really comes into play here, folks, is that key mod is much more expensive to actually machine and produce. So if you just look at it, you got to have a tool that penetrates and makes the big hole. And then you have to have another step in the machine process that comes in and machines the backside and the taper on it that engages. So it's actually much slower and much more expensive. It adds another step and another uh, machining process to make this versus the M-Lock, which is just done with the with a simple tool all in one step and one process. So I think the fact that this is easier to manufacture and the fact that Magpul has thrown their weight behind it, I really think that this is where everything's going to be going. I think it is too. And you know, you also you can use you can use plastic on metal. You can use metal on plastic. Mm -hmm. So you've got the versatility. If you've got the Magpul MOE handguard, you can mount your M lock into it. That's right. You know, I can go into a big box store and I can buy accessories right now. In fact, for let me show you one. Right here, Bob, we have uh, we have Eli's rifle. And I think that this really kind of shows the beauty of the M-Lock. We didn't, there's no extra rail section. This is still very slim, but this has the Magpul AFG. Now you can see that it fits way up tight. It's a lot tighter than a rail mounted one, or if you had an adapter. So Magpul has made an M-Lock AFG, and it's, it's very svelte very slim and and it's elegant in its simplicity and how it mounts um, it works really really well you know if I want to add the same thing to uh, to my rifle with the uh, 
with uh, with the key mod, you know, I've got to put a piece of rail on it, and then I've got to put the AFG on on top of that. Right, because you can't get the AFG or any of the Magpul products in a key mod. Precisely. Right. So there you have it, folks. There's our little overview summary of key mod versus Picatinny versus M Lock. Right. And I predict that M Lock's going to be a winner. Um, I like it. Maybe a little bit troublesome the first time uh, mounting it up, but uh, I'm a big fan of the M lock. And I'm a big fan of the Keymon. I think it, it's just it's more of an industrialized, more tough, just more stout. It's you just ready like to go. looking at Gorilla Racks. I at like old Gorilla people. Racks. <laughs> so there you have it. You can't take back a bullet. You never want to wish that you could, so always follow the four basic safety rules and shoot safe, shoot straight. We'll catch you guys on the firing line. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, are we focused? Yeah. Did we focus that recently? Yeah, I just okay. did. Perfect. Yeah, your face is in focus. Perfect. I look blurry. I got my glasses on. <laughs> Smudge. Hey folks, Mark and Bob of Fire Mountain Outdoors. Hey, there are three common attachment methods to attach optics and accessories to your AR. That's right. We've got the common Picatinny rail, we've got M-Lock, and we've got that other one. Stick around and find out what it is.